So welcome to another Java programming tutorial and in this tutorial we're going to be looking at how to square numbers and use powers, cube and we're also going to be looking at getting the square root of a number. So pretty much what we're doing over these uh, few tutorials is we're pretty much making a calculator almost. So first what we're going to do is create a floating point number. So basically a float and that could store a, a decimal as I said in the previous tutorial and we're going to call this num, just for number. And then we're going to set this equal to something like 10. We'll do 10 cubed. And then what we're going to do is we're going to do, sorry, not 10 cubed, we're going to do 10 squared. So to square that, we're going to do float ans for answer equals and then float. So we're making a cast here. And then after this, we're going to do math dot pal and that's short for pal then in brackets and here we're simply just going to put um, put a comma in between we're going to be putting uh, firstly num because that's what we're going to be squaring followed by 2 since we're doing it squared so the 2 is basically we're doing the power of 2 so if we run this Oh wait, we've got, to, we've got to actually display this on the screen. So let's do system dot out dot print ln brackets semicolon, and then here we're just going to do ans, and you see it gives us a hundred. Since ten squared is a hundred, ten times ten is a hundred. So what about if we did twelve? Then that is now one hundred forty-four. Same if we were to do uh. 57 and square that we get this number 3249 so um, let's go back to 10 let's say we want a cube 10 so we want to do 10 times 10 times 10 so we just put a 3 there for cubed so power of 3 and that gives us a thousand and we could do power of 4 which gives us 10,000 power of 5 you get the idea so that's using powers. Um, I also said I was going to show you how to get the square root. So let's just delete all of this except for that number. And I'm going to change this to 100. We'll get the square root of 100, which should be 10. Because, well, yeah, it should be 10. Because 10 times 10 is 100, so it'll be 10. Um, so to get the square root, what we're going to do is we're going to create a float. And this is going to be called just ans again and this is going to be equal to float and then after this we're going to do math dot sqrt there we go and then that's just got a and then what we're going to put in there is just number well num because that is the variable that we're going to get the square root of and then again it's going to do system dot out dot print ln brackets semicolon and then we're just going to do ans you could make this all look fancy but I'm, for the point of this tutorial I'm not going to and the square root is 10 so let's see what the square root of 200 is oh wrong one and that's 14.142136 and we could do the square root of 57,000 56,000 let's say that and that is 236.64319 so thank you for watching this tutorial, don't forget to comment, rate and subscribe if you found it useful and I will see you in the next tutorial.